Hi everyone! For today's video, I'll show you how to add a strip to your web page, and how to give the strip a sort of parallax scrolling effect. An image strip is an image that stretches across the entire width of the page. This is great for banner images and displaying larger images. The parallax effect is a modern design trend which gives the illusion that your background is moving slower than the foreground. So we have here a web page using an image strip, and it serves two purposes. The first is to give the website a background, and the second is to divide the header section up here and the content section down here. And if you see, as I scroll down, it has the parallax effect. So I'll delete that real quick and show you the other way you can add a strip. In this menu, select the trash can. So now you can go back up to add, but instead of image, which would be found here in image strip, we can go down to shapes and select strip. As you can see, a big gray strip now spans across the width of our page. So to use an image instead, we can select the strip, then over in the panel box, we'll see our background color. You can go ahead and click the red X in the corner to remove this color and turn the strip transparent. Now below that, we can select an image. So in the section where it says image, press the button that says change. From here, we can either choose to upload files from our computer, or we can choose from our stock images or the background images. So I'll go ahead and select background images. So this image of an espresso looks good. So I can go ahead and click on this image to use the image. Now you'll notice the image is tiled along the strip. So we can change this in the panel box by choosing the fill option under the section that says scale. You can see it fills it up there. Now that the image is nicely stretched over the strip, we can move it to a place that fits in our page. We can also adjust the height of our image strip by clicking on either of these blue dots. So I'll do that. I'll just change this roughly where the other one was. As it is right now, the strip is in the foreground and this could be problematic for us as it could potentially block elements of our page. So to move it to the background, we need to click on it. And in this menu here, select this option that says send to back and you can see it's in the background. Finally, if we want to add a parallax effect to this image strip, we can head to the panel box by clicking on it, and here, clicking the checkbox that says add parallax effect. You can play around with different speeds of the parallax effect by using this drop-down menu here. We can choose fast, default, or even slow. I'll leave it at default for now. All you need to do to see the effect in motion is to just scroll up or down on the page I'll quickly show you what it looks like in preview here. You can see the parallax effect. All right, well that wraps up our image strip and parallax effect tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube for more great tutorials and follow us on Twitter for all the latest. Thanks for watching.